It was a triumphant president draped in a garland of coca leaves who signed the new law. It allows the amount of land that can be legally planted with coca to be nearly doubled to 22,000 hectares. Morales says more coca is needed to meet growing local demand and there are safeguards to ensure the coca leaves aren't used to produce cocaine. Maybe in other cultures there is a problem with illegal cocaine consumption. They use our coca leaves for their western ways, but we don't share their cocaine culture. Coca is a mild stimulant used in Bolivia for thousands of years. It's put in food, in tea, and used to treat ailments. It's also the main ingredient for cocaine. The fight against the cocaine cartels drew Bolivia into anti-narcotic operations across South America in the 1990s, turning parts of Bolivia into conflict zones as farmers were forced to destroy illegal crops of coca. When Morales expelled the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency in 2008, reform began. Now it's U.N. inspectors who monitor land for coca production, while local groups keep tabs on what happens to the end product. But the president's policy isn't universally supported. The opposition argues it's in breach of international treaties and Bolivia remains a major transit and processing hub for the cocaine trade. The policy also led to infighting amongst growers' unions about who gets to grow the plants and where. We may have gone to a battle, but we have not lost the war. We as cocoa growers of the Yungas are more united than ever against this new law. It's also unpopular with the U.S. government, which has led the global war on drugs for more than 50 years. But Morales has made it clear he doesn't care. His coca reform law is about meeting Bolivia's needs, Bolivia's way. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.